Uh, no, there are three of them. This is getting out of hand. Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. Welcome to part three of the Return of the Jedi War. Check this out. There's lots on this. Ooh, Bruh. I don't like that light gleam on there. But anyway, I'm just sat down here because I'm on the lower, the low rows now to finish this off. I'll pull back so you can see the whole thing if you're new around here. And check out the rest of the series. I've got a link to all my room tour, carded room tour videos. So you'll find this series where I'm going around this new room, which is four walls of TVC heaven, as I keep saying. So there's prequels, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back, and there's other miscellaneous on the bottom rows here, like Expanded Universe. And, uh. <clears throat> so what I would like to do now is continue with Return of the Jedi. So what I've had to do is I've just had this delivered today and I'm going to do a video looking at all the vintage 80s mocks I now have. There's, I've got five now. Wow. From tiny icons, BOE said. It's like a rabbit hole, as everyone else says. Mystery Mando and others. <laughs> so, just want to show you that, and I'll take that out of the star case with my others, and you can have a look at the condition, which is excellent of that. I'm well impressed. Look at that. That's a lovely tree of that. So, let's move on. So, what I've got now is, on these rows, is a lot of Jabba goons. So, if I pull back, we've had a lot of connections here of runs of figures, like at the top, the TIE Fighters there, including a vintage Mock 77 Return of the Jedi, uh, 77 back card and then you know key and farlanders and all variants there are loads of runs of figures for the gamorian guard gamorian guard sorry ryan and um you know wickets and akbars and blah -de blah check that out but for now let's go in on this one this oh turn that off too bright otherwise this one here is the first vintage 80s i got and it's just an accident that i got it i was just browsing around on ebay and i got it and that's what kind of started me off Bit of yellowing on it, but to be expected. But it was a good price I got it for, so there you are. And that goes nicely with the modern reheese, which came with the Jabba's Palace playset. Moving on, we've got Sayalt, Sayalt Mirai. I did have on the wall next to him this, which is the card that came with the barge. But I acquired this um, at a GW acrylic case. I got it because it came with the Luke Skywalker that's up there, the unpunched one, which is right there, which we'll talk about that when I do the Empire Strikes Back. But I thought I'd just put the, you know, such a showpiece in itself, its own right, you know, the, the yak face. I thought I'd put that there, but what I do regret, wrong word saying I regret it because I don't regret the fact, that I love the fact that I got this and it's a graded figure from Echo Base. What's a shame, I should say, is that I can't put this on the wall with these other fellas. I mean, look at it. You've got a lovely pattern here. You've got, you know, reese with the blinds of the barge in the background, you've got Likewise with the yak face and then, you know, and I'll do a separate video on it. We really want Hasbro, or I do, and lots do, in fact, want them to bring out Squid Ed or Tessic in the modern line. Please do that, Hasbro. That'll make our, make our day with the day you announce that. Um, anyway, these are green neat those. He's not, I used to have him next to Woof, but not anymore. Anyway, he's in between them. Unnecessary waffle. Let's get on with it. So there's Klaatu which is a great figure, but not as good as Wu for you, who you are about to see. I'm glad they brought him out around the time of the barge. We got him in 2019. His weak Quay, he was a figure that's gone massively up in value. Um, do not be fooled by how pristine it looks. That bubble is actually very scratched, and I actually put a little bit of oil on it, you know, bike oil or something. You know, that clear oil, you know. It, just to give it that lubrication that kind of cleared it up a little bit. I just rubbed it in lightly. I don't know what kind of oil it was now, but um, kind of did the trick. So if you sniff that bubble, it smells like, well, petrol, <laughs> oil, fumes. Anyway, moving on, here's Woof. That's a great car back. And a, oh, a lovely figure. That's probably one of my favorite figures ever, that. For such an unknown character, that figure was an absolute masterpiece. A masterpiece. Focus, there you go. I was watching my last video back, and at times when I'm saying focus, it sounds like I'm talking, talking, I'm talking to myself. I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking about. The, I'm talking to the camera. It needs to focus, man. Here's Kithaba. Great figure. That's the blue. I have a blue. I beg your pardon. The brown variant. I did have one with red, and my good friend uh, Manny from MG Villain was saying, "Oh man, that's just so rare, man." But I had it on eBay, man, and I couldn't sell it. I couldn't get rid of it. I couldn't give it away. So I opened it in the end. So my. Loose Kithaba is the one that was carded, that was red 
bandana, but you know, that was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Maybe he's actually gone up in value now. I don't know. But anyway, then we move on to Nikto, one of my favorites, this one. It's a great figure loose as well. And there's a little bit of nostalgic bias with this one because I used to have Nikto as a kid. So I remember full well having him in my collection. I always used to think that he was him, the nutter firing all those shots on top of the skiff. But no, that ain't Nikto. He's got a name as well. Please help me in the comments and remind me what his natural name is. But um, I'm trying to get rid of the glare there. That's better. Lovely card back. Um, and then you've got Vidain, who's a love. Well, that figure's not so good, to be honest with you. Looks all right, but he's got the limbs aren't very flexible. I've got issues with the figure, but the card back. Phew, what a kick ass card back that is. Blue sky. I thought they were just teasing us and winding me up, Hasbro. They were doing all these blue sky cards, blue sky cards, and I really wanted a blue sky fair, but they've given us a blue sky fair. So God bless you, Hasbro. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. And then Vizam. Vizam, he's an all right figure, but again, uh, once you've had hold of him and you know how good he is, all these other Nitos are just pale in comparison. He was in the Black Series, Orange Line, as you know, so I always wanted them to repack him. To put him where he should have been anyway on a vintage card, but they have now. Brock's another one from the vintage. Ah, ah, wrong from the Black Series Orange card line. But here he is now on a vintage card. Lovely card back that. It's a lovely figure actually. Very sort of Doctor Who that guy, you know, British cheap sci-fi look. And then you've got Han and Carbonite. Oh, I should have checked this before I did this video. Usually, him next to her is what floats me boat. It looks nice. Plus, if you notice that Vizam. And Klaatu, look at the redness of the Return of the Jedi logo, and then her and him. They are newer figures. The tone of the red is slightly brighter than, say, that darker, more bloody kind of red there. But anyway, that's just something I noticed. So there's Han there, and then you've got Weequay, who I found a very difficult figure to know how to display him. I don't like that card as much as that one. It's a newer card. I like the character. The figure's great, but just something about the blue and the red. I don't like mixing red and blue like that. It's all right, like, but yeah. they're contrasting colours, I find. Moving on. So where can we go now? Let's have a look down here. R2 has been relegated to these goons. Usually I have R2. It's a nice looking card that goes very nicely with up there, you've got our oh, man, Nyan, um, Nyan Nam or Nyan Nam, whatever. It's not it's something to do with the framing of the, hang on a minute framing of the he's quite big on the card isn't he you know a close-up should we say Ari Marco this is a card but I can't wait to open him not this I, uh, I've got um, Captain Major Pano is he called Major Pano whoa what am I doing now this is one I'd love to have him loose but I don't I've got a bloody Power of the Force 2 of him um, way too bulky Power of the Force 2 could be good but it's one of those figures from the era of bloody oversized steroids so and he's got a cape that flaps out but that looks lovely in scale but the major pano i think i've got the name right he looks just he's basically just like him basically but it's a gray cloak and different colored skin but i think this one which i got back in the bloody jammy goit era of when i got vintage collection stuff which was when it was not going for much money i got this i remember messaging the guy as well it's got a slight crease on it it's one of those situations where you message and say oh had he put it in like a crappy envelope or something like that and a complaint I said, you know, you know what are you doing? It's, it's, I think there was something went on with that, like it got damaged in the post. But anyway, moving on, you've got some Ewoks all together now. Obviously, Wicket's on his own row up there. You know, he's got loads of him. There's Wicket's section there. But this year, you've got Lumat now. And then you've got the new Paplu, which is a bit of a fiasco with this figure because, yeah, you can tell it's repaint of that, isn't it? Still looks a different character, but I wish they'd just redone the Legacy Collection one. But they, again, the rumour is that they can't find the mould, which is bloody diabolical. Next, you've got Logray, which is a figure that seems to have shot up again. I remember I paid, you know, I don't know what I paid, but I remember in my head when I bought him, I thought, well, he's, he's an expensive one. Then I saw him go for a lot less than I first got him for. Now it's back to being expensive. Going with the Endor Woods feel, we've got this uh, card back I've been advocating for its entrance to the vintage collection for ages, which is ATST Driver. But you know, we've got him now, which is great, so I can't not grumble too much. But uh, again, there's that emblem there, which a lot of people have issue with it. Mainly that warning is on the racetrack. Ah, don't like that. 
Rebel Commando, which is a figure that is a tricky one. This Canadian one here is uh, got that weird crease on it, you know, there's loads of Canadians like that. Uh, I did try and upgrade him recently, but the bidding got out of control. I put a bid on it and then it went way over while my top bid was. It was embarrassing, you know. You know, you see that on eBay, you put your bid in, you think, oh, I've got a chance here. And then boom, 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 boom. There's other people who've got the brighter idea or uh, a higher priced idea. The Rebel Commando, there's one. I used to previously have one that was um, punched and I've upgraded it. I think I actually opened the one I previously bought, which is an expensive opening. It cost me probably £30, which, you know, that probably doesn't seem much now compared to what he's worth now. Princess Leia Bouche, Bausch, which is a worthy... Should have been done like that in the first place instead of putting it in the Black Series. Always should have been vintage collection, three and three quarter inch detailed figures like these. Um, another classic you see from the 96 Lando Calrissian. Never came with a single pill. I always thought they were going to do that. There's another character. Excuse me, I'm just itching. The camera's going everywhere. Hang on. There's another character. Completely different era in the saga. 144, that is, right? Check this out. If we go over to the Revenge of the Sith, this is another one that was only ever multi language. I mean, if you know of a, of a single pill, send me a picture on Instagram because we don't, I don't believe it exists, but if it does. My mind will be blown. And I always have these three together. Unfortunately, I don't have the ones with the Blu-ray sticker on, but um, the very interesting quirky side of the, uh, you know, the Return of the Jedi line, you've got the um, Sandstorm and deleted scenes things. I don't have any ones with the Blu-ray sticker on, as I say. I would like to as a variant, but you know, maybe one day. Uh, yeah, they're quite interesting cards. You know, you've got Luke Leia and and Lando there. Really, they could finish that off and have Chewie and Han, because they did have them, didn't they? You might notice I've had to take Han off the wall. Speaking of Han, I had to take him off the wall to make space for Leia, I'll sort it all out. That's my problem to deal with. Now down here, these four VOTCs, no, there's three of them, sorry. They're a little bit out of place. This guy, I'd like to join the party. Because look at the Endor woods would go nicely with these types of car packs, you know, ones on Endor. But for now, I just, because I like to, as I explained in my last video, the Return of the Jedi logo is very slightly different from how it should be. In the 80s, it looked like that. But then they modified it in 2004 to look like that, which I like. It's sharper. But it's not how it used to be. In fact, they've gone with whatever font that is, the modified font they've used. And I'm only repeating myself in case you didn't see the last video. I use it for the Revenge of the Sith badge. And also, if I'm not mistaken, The Force Awakens Rise of Skywalker. It's a, sh it's a similar vibe to the classic Kenner card back logo font, but it's different. So I tend to... I find that him on his own amongst these ones... That's Last Jedi. There. <coughs> Excuse me. These, it, it looks a bit out of place, so I try and, where I can, have them together, joined together like these three here. Anyway, that's a lot of waffle. I'm just explaining how I display. Also, what I find so annoying about this car back is that it's one of these ones where it would have been great if they'd done it on an Empire Strikes Back badge. But, you know, they did exist back in the day. You get all of them on a Return of the Jedi. You get a Luke Farnboy in Return of the Jedi. Like, you've got this clearly a New Hope image of 3PO on an Empire badge, you know? It's just the way it is, but I wished for the VOTC they would have just gone with the flow, the original intended release. R2 with the scanner on an Empire. But anyway, whatever. That's New Hope Chewie on an Empire. Uh, Return of the Jedi again, you see? Um, and then you've got Bike Scout, which you've seen. This guy's all on his own for now, Colonel Kraken. I usually have him by the uh, Cal Man Calamari pilot and, and Wedge and stuff, you know what I mean? Like the Rebels. And, you know, sometimes it would be possible even him. Um, the thing about the Chewbacca is, uh, you could have him next to these, but like I've said before, and I'll just close this door a minute, I'll say it again, I like to have uniformity with the badges. So I don't like having, say, you know, like Jeff's Museum, he'd have all his Luke Farm boys, like that image, he'd have all together, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Empire, Empire, Return of the Return of the Return of the Jedi. I don't like doing that. 
Um, I could do. I could technically have this chewy on the wall like that. It might work. I might do that at some point in the future. But generally, I like to, uh, you know, keep the the movie badges together. And that is all there is, ladies and gentlemen. The last thing I'm going to do is just show you this again, which is the uh, special action, special collector coin, sorry. Power of the Force style modern jack face. And then, of course, this, which I can't put on the wall, sadly. Maybe I could make a, build a little ledge for it so it can sit somewhere. But I've just got it in here for now since I got it at Echo Base. And, you know, it's not really the great conditions in here, but I'll film this again properly with my other vintage mocks in natural light for your... You know, for, for, you, for you to see. But that is all for now. That's all my Return of the Jedi. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. And I'm going to move on to another section of the walls. I think it should be Empire maybe next if we go backwards audit. Lots to show you there. Loads of variants and runs of figures there too. It's just an extra bit of lighting when I'm doing live streams. Thank you for watching. Let's pull back now. Oh, these cards here, as I said, they are... Uh, Last Jedi, some lovely cards there, lovely figures, but you know, they're a bit out of place. I need to move them somewhere else. But still for now, this has been Only One Kenobi. If you are new, subscribe and all of that blah blah And this has been my the final episode of The Return of the Jedi. I hope you have enjoyed it. Join me for more. Only One Kenobi, only one. Out.